I would like Muhammad to stop because he's got nothing to prove. He's done everything. He's the best thing that ever happened to boxing. But I would want a Muhammad Ali to be involved in boxing because all of us will be lesser people in this world without Muhammad Ali. Well, after the fight, Ali checked into the UCLA Medical Center where he was given a thorough examination, and here's Don Oliver with the story. Ali said he checked into the hospital because he hadn't felt well before last week's fight, and he wanted to know what was wrong. I wasn't myself the night of Holmes. I couldn't get away from punches. I, my timing was off. My reflexes were slow. And I was weak and tired after the first round. Ultimately, it is determined that Ali suffers from Parkinson's syndrome, probably caused from receiving so many blows to the head in the ring. His speech is slurred and his movements are slower, but his spirit remains strong. Muhammad Ali underwent neurological tests at a New York hospital today. The 42-year-old former heavyweight boxing champion is suffering from a disorder of the nervous system that has slurred his speech and slowed his motions. Are, are you worried at all? Worried about what? What you talking about, man? There have been stories in the paper that say that you could they be said, seriously sick. They said I was crazy. There have been stories about my draft dodger. Stories about um, I changed my name. I was crazy. Uh, stories about Parkinson. Now, when you get Parkinson, you shake, right? Am I shaking? Dad, dad. Nope. Not if I had Parkinson, I'd be shaking. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what happens to him, the Muhammad Ali story is, is a triumphant story because he did triumph and he did change his own life and he changed the lives of so many other people. Uh, he, he affected millions of people and he, he got them to raise their aspirations and he got them to, to achieve things that they couldn't have achieved.